Hello everyone, this is Alex from Tech Media Guys, and today's video will be showing you low poly modeling in Cinema 4D. Now, I'm not going to show you how to create the models right now. If you would like to see any other 3D modeling content, you can request it in the comment section um, or via any of our various social media sites. So, first, what I'm going to do is open up. I have two, either what I've created myself, I have low poly here so basically low poly is the when you create a 3d model if it's high poly it's more likely to be more realistic like if you look at a video game that's you know like really has really really good realism in it it's gonna be a really high poly count model well there's people like the aesthetic of having low poly which looks a bit like you know very blocky and uh, you know very rigid so yeah I've done I've created all these models myself I have um, as you can see here he was a um, some trees but they're all modular so when you find where they are well, doesn't matter but basically I've got a landscape here and um, created a little scene looking at the um, you know mountains and uh, created a river a little boat dock down here some um, rocks that's uh, irrelevant there but um, yeah I've created some trees and uh, mountains and stuff you know it's just it's quite simple to do so if anyone would like and also when you do create these models you can use them to create video games and stuff you can export them and enter them into uh, game engines and you can you'll see them there basically so it's really quite easy if you don't have the uh, skill or not the skill but just the time to create high quality models or the equipment and stuff etc low poly is the way to go basically so i'm going to open up my other one here we have low poly models now this is a uh, police car which is not necessarily more low poly it's just it is, but it's not like the quote unquote um, aesthetic style is what low poly is but I created a little animation which I'll um, I'll play the actual rendered animation in a minute but if we zoom out here I have clouds trees so as you can see like the all oh, the arts are triangle but it's, it's inside each other so you can't really see um, Bushes, rocks, roads, traffic cones. Yeah, I created all these myself. I think I did quite a good job on this one. Uh, fences, haystacks, rocks, bushes, trees again. I created this um, tractor here, a little rock, and it's like a little river thing, but you can't really see it in the video. But, um, yeah, and lamp posts as well, and they're all lighted as well. So, if actually, I'll just load up this. Um, oh, there we go. If I play this here animation, as you can see it. I'll uh, I render this out, and I'll also uh, speed up the render because it takes quite a while. Okay, well, the scene is finished rendering now, and um, so as you can see, I have. The uh, light uh, things, <laughs> I forgot what they're called. I have my tractor here and I have the police car in the back. You also have the trees, the uh, fences, everything, and you can see it's all the lighting's really well. Like, it, even though it's low poly, it just looks good. Um, it's also like real time lighting as well. So, if the car tractor moves, then the lights on the front of it will illuminate wherever it's in front of it. So that's just one frame I will play the um, animation again but I also I'll play it now and um, this is before it's rendered so the tractor is basically just getting chased it's in a police chase and turns around drives off and knocks down the fence so you actually get another angle over here See, there's basic animation. There's nothing too fancy, but you know it's um, you know I, I think it's rather effective. I also, it does take 
it's not necessarily hard to create uh, low poly models it's just like um you know there's a certain way to do it like it's, it's not just creating a model and having it low poly like say, for example these clouds here um you don't see them in the actual animation but as they are it's like they're the same as the bushes and the rocks you can use them again you just got to change the um the colors down here as you can see um i have whoops i have my skybox up here which provides lighting for the scene and um yeah but also i do like my roads they're um, they're not grouped together right now so if i did it if i was to move that it would take out the piece but um yeah so they're all modular you can group when i group them together you can copy them uh create a longer road or you can actually just use the parts for anything else but i mean i did quite a good job and uh, I could potentially do some more with it, but um, that's up to people who watch the video. What would you like, like to see? Would you like me to see implementing these models into a um, into a game, or uh, just doing tutorials on how to do other models? Well, just leave a comment in the set in the leave a comment in the comment section, and uh, I'll get back to you. So this has been Alex. Thank you for watching, and check out some of other content, and consider leaving a rating and subscribing.